Often stalled for long periods of time, uh, our area bridges up to the challenge of the added strain. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro has the story. Alex. Jeff, Gina, as I'm sure both of you know, traffic continues to be backed up along the US 52 bridge, due in large part to construction. But are all the trucks and cars waiting on the bridge putting extra strain on that bridge? And can it maintain that weight level? That's what we set out to find today. Traffic is often backed up these days on several area bridges. But can those structures handle the amount of weight and stress piled on by idling trucks and cars? While it's a question that may not be something worrying commuters. I mean, there is a lot of traffic, but it's usually moving fairly smooth, so I don't know, we don't really worry about it. The Indiana Department of Transportation has already factored in the weight of idling trucks and cars when engineering local bridges. So it was factored in that um, um, that bridge is able to withstand the weight of the backed up traffic there on US 52. Bridges are designed for um, a full load of traffic actually in both lanes and right now we have it down to one lane. But what about that pulsing or vibrating that can sometimes be felt as you're sitting in traffic for a long period of time on those bridges? Calder says that's actually a good thing. The bridges are built to give a little. A rigid bridge would actually be a bad thing. These bridges are designed to um, have a degree of flexibility, so that is normal. And uh, what I'm, uh, they're probably feeling also is a little bit of the vibration from the engines of the vehicles and people, you know, taking off behind and in front of you. These local in-dot bridges are also doing just fine on weight limit. All in all, Calder assures drivers that these bridges, while crowded, are still safe. Uh, Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.